When we are describing a position, it is better than using a graph or position of x plotted as a function of time. Let us have a simple example. Let us graph the position function of x to time of an armadillo from a starting stationary position over a 7 second time interval. Let us say that the animal is first noticed at t is equal to 0 when it is at the position x is equal to negative 5 meters. It then moves towards x is equal to 0, passing through this point at t is equal to 3 seconds, and then moves on to increasing larger positive values of x. We connect these three points here, and we will have the path associated with the movement of this animal from negative 5 position going to positive 2 meters. This position time graph actually reveals how fast the armadillo moves. As we talk about how fast an animal or a particle in general is moving, we can associate it with the term average velocity, which is the ratio of displacement or change of x that occurs during a particular time interval or change of time. Mathematically, we can write it as v sub average is equal to delta x over delta t, or difference of x sub 2 and sub x sub 1 over difference of t sub 2 and t sub 1. The common unit we use is the meter per second. To get this average velocity, we often wanted to find the slope of the straight line that connects two particular points on the function x of t curve. Do you still remember this concept from your previous math classes? Let us say we wanted to find the average velocity of the armadillo for the time interval t is equal to 1 second to t is equal to 4 seconds. We start this by drawing a straight line that connects the point on the position curve at the beginning of the interval and the point on the curve at the end of the interval. Here, we plot two points, one at negative 4 meters position at 1 second and the other one at 2 meters at 4 seconds. Again, to find for the average velocity, we need to find the slope. Let us draw broken lines here to represent the slope. The run, which from the previous formula is change in time, can be computed as 4 seconds minus 1 second, which is equal to 3 seconds. And the rise, which in our formula is change in position, then 2 meters minus negative 4 meters, which is equal to 6 meters. Now that we have both values for rise and run, we can substitute these in our formula, 6 meters over 3 seconds, which is equal to 2 meters per second. This is how fast the armadillo runs in the given position time interval. Average speed, on the other hand, is a different way of describing how fast a particle moves. Remember that the average velocity involves the particle's displacement, while the average speed involves the total distance covered. Mathematically, we can express it as, as average is equal to total distance over change in time. Sometimes, average speed is the same as the average velocity, except for the average speed does not have algebraic sum because it doesn't have direction. However, there are instances that the two can be quite different.